Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on heat capacity. If you've ever been to the beach, you know that the sun can really heat things up. So much so that the sand can get too hot to walk on. But you can always cool your feet off in the nice cold water. But it gets one thinking, why is the water so much colder than the sand when they are both getting heated by the sun equally? And the answer has to do with heat capacity. Sand has a very low heat capacity. Water has a very high heat capacity. That means you have to heat up water an awful lot before the temperature goes up. Sand only has to be heated a small amount before the temperature goes up. So a small amount of heat from the sun can make the sand very hot. The difference between these two substances is huge. You could add tons and tons of heat to water and it will resist temperature change. You can kind of think of water as having a large trash can for heat. You can put a lot of heat into the trash can before it fills up. Sand would have a very tiny trash can. It can't take much heat at all before the temperature goes up. Again, that is because water has a very high heat capacity and sand has a very low heat capacity. Now we can prove that water has a high heat capacity by doing a simple experiment. Here we have five substances. Water, wet dirt, dry dirt, wet sand, and dry sand. We're going to compare the heat capacities of these substances by heating each one of them up and recording the temperature. First we'll start with sand. We do this experiment by putting a temperature probe into sand inside of a pie plate. Then we put the whole thing under a very hot heat lamp for 10 minutes. When that's done, we repeat this with all the different substances. And when we're done, we get a graph that looks like this. Now if you look very closely, you will see that the graph shows that the water didn't change temperature very much at all. But the dry sand changed temperature quite a bit. It went from 20 degrees all the way up to 54 degrees when being heated for the 10 minutes. Water, on the other hand, only changed temperature a few degrees. Why? Well, remember, water has a very high heat capacity. You can add a lot of heat to water before the temperature will go up. 